when he wasn't leading a galactic-wide succession movement in a war, or scheming with his master to achieve the Sith Grand Plan, what did Count Dooku do in his free time? What he did in his free time can be divided up between his public life and his private one. In public, Dooku was known for being a man of culture, and one who had a keen taste for wine, with Alderanian wine apparently being his favorite of the bunch. As the leader of the Confederacy of Independent Systems, Dooku attended many ceremonial banquets where he met with separatist senators, financial backers, and the like. He was charming in conversations, befriending many of those he came into contact with. He gave speeches at these parties as well, boosting the morale of his supporters, and at times even accepting awards presented to him by his people. However, in private, Dooku was a far less pleasant man. When not attending public events or leading the Separatist war machine in the front lines, he spent much of his time alone in his isolated palace on Sereno. He lived like a king there, having access to the finest foods and other pleasures one might expect at such a grand palace. He also collected many pieces of ancient art and statues, as well as having a collection of some of the lightsabers his minions acquired after defeating notable Jedi in the field of battle. He secretly experimented with the dark side of the force behind Palpatine's back, hoping one day to be able to surpass and overthrow his master. Dooku was known for torturing prisoners with these dark side experiments, having an entire dungeon for that sole purpose. He also trained his dark side assassins well beyond what he was given permission for by Palpatine. He was only supposed to train them to be mere assassins who had a basic understanding of the dark side and nothing more, but instead he taught them some of the more powerful abilities of the dark side. He promised his apprentices that one day, together, they will be powerful enough to overthrow his own Sith Master, and that they together will rule the galaxy. Palpatine was aware of this, and forced Dooku to kill some of his apprentices whenever he felt they had gotten too powerful, as he did with Ventress. But nonetheless, Dooku persisted in training an apprentice that would one day allow him to overthrow Palpatine. Near the end, Dooku almost became obsessed with this task, going out of his way trying to convert a Jedi Master named Quinlan Voss, whom he had captured after the Jedi failed an assassination on him. Dooku tortured Voss and played mind games with him for months on end. Despite this, he was almost killed by Voss after finding out the fallen Jedi had a hidden agenda of his own and betrayed him. After barely surviving that incident, it didn't seem Dooku attempted to train another secret apprentice in the ways of the Sith as a means to overthrow Palpatine. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lore Master. Be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars lore videos like these in the future. And may the Force be with you.